Welcome back to SMKR. Up next is the Fine Molds 172nd scale Star Wars X-Wing Fighter. These are no longer produced by Fine Molds as they no longer carry the license. However, Ravel Germany did buy the molds from Fine Molds, so look for these to come out in Europe, European market, very soon. Let's look at the, the box art few photographs of the actual model built. SW1 is the part number and it looks like it sold for 2400 yen at the time. And believe it or not these are still readily available out there. I've seen them at a reasonable price also. Here's what's inside, everything wrapped separately. The main body, wings, and separate packaging. Engines detail and the wing detail. Along with the clear pieces for the canopies. and a set of decals. We'll look at them close. Options for red 5, red 3, all the various markings and colors that go on this X-Wing. The instructions themselves Typical accordion style instructions from fine molds. Looks like we have an R2D2 figure we'll assemble. Then the cockpit, fuselage halves, laser laser guns, engines, the wings wings again, everything goes together till finally there you have it the completed model how you paint up the sitting figure and the standing figure of Luke Skywalker separately is decal placement guide and painting guides Hopefully when we get this from Germany, we'll have some English instructions available for this. Let's look at the... I'll take the kit parts out of the plastic and we'll look at them closer. Real quickly, here's the stand for the part, for the model. It has Star Wars engraved on the top. You also have a separate sign for the decal that's provided and the rest of the stand itself. If you plan on lighting this kit then you'd probably use a rod instead of, instead of this component here. The next bag contained the wings, cockpit, pilot figures, ladder, and fuselage halves. Let's get a closer look at them. The wings look like they measure six inches across. detail on the back end of the fuselage, the detail on your wings, the cockpit itself, very detailed. Let's see, any details on the instrument panel, those would be decals that would fill those. Headrest, ladder, pilot figures, sitting and standing. The other wing. A 
more detailed components. R2D2 and the other robot with the square top. look at the fuselage halves themselves. These look like they measure six and a half inches. Closer look at the nose. Finely recessed details on top, the bottom, other side, basically nothing there. And the last sprue. Our last bag contained two of these trees. They're both identical, so I'll just show you the one. And this case uh, looks like we have engine detail here and portions of the wing. Let's look at the wing portions first. Finding gray panel lines again. Lots of details throughout with the engines. I'm not sure what these are called. I've call been calling them laser cannons, but that's probably not correct. Forgive me. Engine intakes. Looking very good. Portions of the engine intake itself. Very detailed. Lots of pieces and parts here. And there you have it. That was the Fine Molds 172nd scale X-Wing fighter. Look for it in Europe real soon, coming from Ravel, Germany. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews.